But now that I don't lost all of my money, I'd never leave and go away. Hello, my name is Shakedown Tim and I'm here with my band the Rhythm Review to present our new album uh, Way Up. It's released on Rhythm Bump Records and I'm very proud of our new baby. <laughs> Reminiscent of music, I think it was Little Richard when I was like four or five years old. I heard him sing bamboo and it's like he looked like the devil behind his piano. And then I was as a young child into rock and roll. Then I discovered the Beatles, loved the Beatles, and a little bit later Rolling Stones. And then I saw a lot of their songs were written by Chester Burnett or McKinley Morganfield. So I was, very fast I was drawn into the blues, so and then I was yeah, listening to blues. And until I saw the Red Devils uh, perform on Pink Pop, I didn't think it was possible to be a blues musician, but I had to study for my exam mathematics. And I put on the television and there were the Red Devils playing raw Chicago blues. And then I said, okay, I'm, I'm gonna start a blues band. <laughs> I don't have a system or anything. I don't have a lot of systems or, 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 or structures or anything. But what I do uh, do is uh, when I hear a good line, I write it down or I put it in my phone. And uh, yeah, I got a list, a long list with expressions or like for instance, when I was playing uh, Ospel Festival in Holland with uh, James. Uh, uh, <laughs> James had a quarrel with his uh, manager. <laughs> and I heard him shout to him, hey man, you fucker, I, I, I would drop you like a bad habit, man, if I just could do that. And I was like, oh, thank you, James. I wrote it down and J James was really proud of me <laughs> making a song out of that because, yeah, uh, so that's what I do. Uh, I hear something, I, I write it down, but it's, yeah, uh, it's, it comes, uh, uh, it, it's not like I'm gonna write a song, so it has to happen. I've co-written a lot with Steven Prog in my days with Fight Bourbon. Uh, when we get together, we still could do it because yeah, we don't have to explain much to each other. He's also on the new record. Uh, he's a great friend and I'm a fan of his music. And, um, but now uh, co-written, uh, uh, yeah, I, I wrote something with Nico Tuportal. Uh, I wrote two songs for his album, but actually it wasn't co-written. I wrote them and he adjusted a little bit little things so uh, but I'd, I'd like to do that actually uh, hmm. but yeah now I, I go with my ideas to the studio with the band and then they uh, yeah they give their ideas and that's also co-written but uh, I, I think I like the idea of getting together and start write something I never did it so always give 
everything we got to, to play the best show we possibly can at that moment. But every show is gonna be, uh, yeah, it, it's gonna be us at that moment in time. It's gonna be all, yeah, the songs, we, we got our songs, we got our set, but I always look at the audience and try to feel and then uh, to make us connect. Not that I'm gonna play Bohemian Rhapsody if they ask for it, uh, they'll be very happy that I don't do that, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, sometimes they, they want like the slow stuff and they want to, yeah, they want a the sleazy kind of blues uh, or, or sometimes they want to have up tempo and dance and uh, actually I, I like it all so uh, I, I yeah I just go with with the flow of that moment. So. Yeah.